Hi there, this is Yognadan from Zetabyte and welcome to our very first video. And today we are going to take a look at a very important tool in the coding landscape used and loved by developers across all platforms and programming languages, Git. Git is a type of version control system and is also the most popular and widely used version control system. Git was developed by Linus Torvalds, the creator of Linux operating system and released in 2005. But first, what exactly is a version control system and why do we need one? A VCS, uh, the short form for version control system, is a tool used to properly store versions of your software as your software project evolves. If you are used to having folder structures like uh, final, finalist, finalist for sure, you should totally consider opting into Git. After every change in your project, you can commit or save the changes and Git will keep a track of all the changes. Git records everything and does it very efficiently. All the changes you make are recorded. At any point, you can roll back to a previous state of the project. No more commenting out code, wondering whether you might need it for the future. The second most important reason why we need version control system is for easy collaboration with your team. I tell you, it is much more efficient to use Git as a collaborative tool rather than say sharing code through email or even worse, copying code in a pen drive and sharing it with your friends. Imagine if uh, multiple people are sharing the same project files. It will be a total chaos. Uh, people can't keep track of what's changing and who is changing what. There is also this possibility that uh, people might overwrite other people's work without even knowing that they are doing it. When we use Git, every commit contains information about who made the commit and what changes were made. It becomes extremely easy to track down changes just by going through the logs. Git also has something called branching, which is like having parallel versions of the same code base, such as having one branch for production, one branch for development, and one branch for fixing a bug. There is no restriction on how you use your branches. The changes you make in a particular branch is applied only to that branch and other branches are not affected, they remain the same. Later on, you can merge the changes you made in one branch with another branch. Generally, in a team, one person works on a particular branch so that their changes are not affected by another person's changes. And finally, they merge all their changes into a main branch called master. An advantage of Git over other version control systems is that switching between branches is an extremely easy and fast process. All this may sound a bit complex at the start, but branching and merging is a very important part of Git. We have a video covering that, so stay tuned. Git is a distributed environment wherein all people working on the code will have a copy of the entire code base in their local system. Programmers coordinate with each other by pushing their code to and pulling others code from what is called a remote repository. More on that too in upcoming videos. Why not let's get started by installing Git. Go to git-sem.com and download the version of Git suitable for your platform. There may be a lot of options in the installation wizard, but uh, you probably won't understand most of them right now, but no problem. Simply choose next for all stages except uh, for the part where it asks you to choose a text editor. Vim will be selected by default, but you can ch change it to a VS Code or any other modern text editor of your choice. So to summarize, we saw VCS helps you to manage versions of your software. Uh, we also saw the advantages of a version control system, that is, they keep track of all the changes in the project, such as what changes are made at a particular stage, who made the changes, etc. And uh, it helps to easily collaborate with your team. We also saw about branching and merging. Let's get started with our first project using Git in the next video.